gross. Let's check her diaper. Baby Christopher. Christopher, you sleepyhead, you gotta wake up. Didn't think I had to tell you that, but now you know. I do know that, genius, but I have to wake him up because he has to drink his milk. And then he will cry anyways because he's hungry. So shut up and give me the bottle. Maybe you should nag less and learn how to catch things. Thanks for the advice. I'll think about it. What just happened? Why is she crying so much? Do you think she's sick? I don't know, Derek. Maybe it's because you woke her up from her nap. I didn't wake her up. She woke up on her own. Maybe I should hold her. What is she saying? She's saying that she doesn't like you. Shut up. She's not saying that. You shut up. She's totally saying that. Derek, pick her up so she'll stop crying. It's getting a little annoying. Okay, okay, okay. I'll pick her up. See? That's all you needed was just a little bit of playtime with your big brother Derek. Do you want this rattle? It's a pretty cool rattle. Yep. Told you everything's okay. Ow. Baby Emma is so funny. Oh, Emma must have woken up. Hey, what's going on with her? Baby Emma is being very whiny. She's been crying like this ever since she woke up. Plus, she hit me with a rattle. Aw, poor baby. She's feeling grumpy. I wonder if she's sick. I should take her temperature. Let me see what's going on with her. Hmm, no, her temperature seems all normal. I wonder what is wrong. Oh, you poor thing. I should take you to the doctors. Let's get you changed before we go. Alright, let's just put you here on the change table. Hey everyone, so I'm just here with my little baby Emma, and she's not feeling really well, and I'm just gonna change her before we end up going to the doctors. I don't think she made a number two, but you never know. Let's have a look. Nope, she only peed in her diaper. So let's clean her up and put a new diaper on her. And let's also change her outfit. So cute, let's get her some pants. Perfect, this is her outfit. She's looking so cute in it. I got it from Zellers and it's a newborn size. I'm just gonna quickly brush her hair. And she's all ready to go. Okay, so tell me what's the problem? I actually don't know doctor. She just has not been feeling well. She's been crying all day All right. Well, let's have a look at her. So you said she does not have a temperature No, she doesn't she doesn't have a fever and she's just been crying and not really eating that much and also rubbing her face a lot She's been rubbing her face and also kind of like what she's doing right now her mouth Yes, doctor. Interesting. Let me just look at her mouth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what? This little girl is teething. 
poor thing. And when you get your toothies in, that's gonna really bug you. So that's what she's doing right now. It's not feeling nice, is it? So let's give her some medicine. All right, this is just gonna help with the pain in her mouth. Here you go. So just give that to her whenever she feels uncomfortable and then soon that tooth will pop out. Thank you so much, doctor. My pleasure. I am so glad you're feeling better, baby Emma. Are you happy you're with your favorite sister? <coughs> Emma, no hitting. <laughs> oh, you find that funny. It's not that funny. <coughs> Oh, you sound so excited. Did you have a good walk, baby? We're almost home. Once we got home, he had a really good nap until one of his sisters started bugging him. Baby Christopher. Are you going to wake up from your nap? It's time to play. If you wake up, I can play some peekaboo with you. <coughs> You're so sleepy. Can I hold him? <coughs> you know, like a baby. I want to hold him like a baby. But he is a baby and he's sleeping. But you were trying to wake him up to play with him. Yeah, well, if he does wake up, I'm gonna hold him first because I am older. Mm, you can't just call dibs on him. He's a baby, not pizza. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna be first if he wakes up, so that's that. No, 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 no. I'm gonna hold him first. <coughs> Look what you've done. You woke him up. Hey, what's all this fighting about? She woke him up. I did not. She was yelling. But she started it. You were yelling first. That's not true. You're lying. Don't touch me, Jenny. Okay, that's enough. It's alright because baby Christopher had to wake up anyways for his bottle. Come on, sweetie. Guess who's gonna feed you this afternoon? All right, Derek, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Here, give him to me. I can carry him. I'm a big brother. All right, just be careful with his head, okay? I'm always careful. Don't you worry. Hey, Christopher. What's up? Mama. No, no, I'm not your mama. I'm your big brother. You must be hungry if you're that delusional that you think I'm your mom. Okay, here we go. Wow, you drank that really, really fast. You're making me hungry. <laughs> That's very impressive, Christopher. Gross! You tooted, that was nasty! Mom! Mom! I think Christopher did a number two. Ah, uh -huh. well, he probably had a really good bottle. Come on, sweetie. Let's change your diaper. Thank you, Mom. Ugh, I can still smell it in the air. All right, let's check him on the change table and see if he has a messy diaper. Even though Christopher is a silicone baby, he is really easy to change. Like, he's quite heavy and substantial, and it makes it really easy to change him. He's got very strong limbs, I would say. He wears a size 2 diaper. And let's see if there's anything in there. Oh yeah, it's a mess. After that poop explosion, we might as well give him a bath. He 
Here you go, sweetie. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but we are in a different place now. We moved, it's finally done. I hate moving. I still have to unbox so many boxes. I remember when I was single how easy moving was. I only had like three moving boxes and that was it. But the bigger your family is and if you have a home business, the more stuff you come with. But hopefully I can get everything unpacked very soon because I also want to make a video about doing up my new doll nursery. I have an entire room this time, so that will be very exciting. Okay, I think Christopher is almost done. Oh no, he made a mess again. Okay, so I had to rinse him off again because he had a little accident in the bathtub, but that's okay. These things happen, and let's get him changed into his onesie. Ah, baby Christopher looks so cute. His pajamas say little brother. Ah, they are so cute together. Hey, look, Noah is awake. Uh, uh. Hey, Noah, you woke up from your nap. How are you feeling? I wonder if he wants to play a game, Jenny. Okay, Noah, here we go. Peek-a-boo. Peek-a-boo. One more time. Peek-a-boo. Oh, he thinks I'm funny. That is so cute. You know what's so funny about Noah and Christopher? Noah is always awake and kicking, and Christopher is so sleepy. It's true, Christopher is always sleepy. Oh, you got the babies! They're so cute! Can I hold one? Maybe later. They're snuggling right now. Yeah, and Christopher is sleeping, so you don't want to wake him up. Hey, Mindy, what are you doing? Don't touch him, he's sleeping. I just want to pet his head. He's so soft. Stop that, Mindy. You're going to ruin his sleep. You're being very rude. Stop bugging him. Ah, oh, don't. Hey, you pushed me. Way to go. You woke up Christopher. Look, he's crying now. Okay, let's just all calm down. He might go back to sleep. Uh -huh. Oh my. Hey, what are you guys doing? Mindy, get off her. She jumped me, Mom. Why do you guys have to fight around the babies? They're sleeping and you can get them injured. Sorry, Sorry Mom. Mom. But, but it, it was, was her, her fault. fault. Doesn't matter whose fault it is. You're getting the babies upset and waking them up. They both threw up. Ew, that's nasty. Poor little babies. It's all your fault, Lizzie. Hey everyone, I just cleaned up little Noah and Christopher and I think they threw up because they were upset, but we're gonna take them to the doctors just to make sure that they're all right. So we gotta pack the twins diaper bag as we're going out, but make sure to stick around till the end of the video because we are going to go to the doctor's office. And we'll figure out what is wrong with Christopher and Noah. But we're gonna start out with this diaper change pad. And it's reversible and on the inside you can wipe it off, so that's a really good one. You always need a change pad. And then we're also gonna pack some diapers. You should never, ever, ever leave the house without any wipes. So let's pack a full pack of wipes with us. I'm also gonna pack an outfit for Noah and one for Christopher. And while I'm packing those, I'm also gonna need some mittens as well. One for Noah and one for Christopher. And then I'm gonna bring a burp cloth with me. You can never have enough burp cloths. And then I'm gonna pack a small bib for Noah and a bigger one for Christopher as well. Then I'm gonna need two bottles. There's a really good side pocket for this in the diaper bag. It's even insulated in case you wanna keep anything cool. I will also pack some formula. 
It's got a few feedings in there. And then I'm also gonna pack the syringe. It's really good for giving medicine to them. And then we're gonna pack a hat for Christopher and a hat for Noah. Now let's try and fit all this in here. Are you gonna help me get to the doctors? Yeah, I am. All right, all the little ones are packed, so let's get going. Let's get to the car. Okay, Mom. Come on, Noah, let's go. Come on in. Hi, I'm Dr. Monroe. Hi, Dr. Monroe. So what happened to the little babies? Well, my boys Noah and Christopher were taking a nap and then some of their older sisters were having an argument in front of them and then they woke up and then they threw up. And it was all of a sudden because they were totally fine in the morning. Well, let's have a look at them and see what's wrong. I'll get you to pop them up here on the change table and then I'm gonna have a look at both of them. Alright, so good news, both of the boys are doing just fine, they're very healthy. You know what probably happened is that they were full from their breakfast and that they got upset when their sisters were fighting in front of them. Oh, I was thinking that it could be that. Yeah, so make sure to tell them to be careful because the environment is very important for a baby. It was a Tuesday afternoon and we were at home quite busy. I want to be the one driving. We need to take turns. Okay, okay, I am all ready. Oh, you're taking up so much room. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Mommy, we're ready. You're all ready? Good. Yep. Here we go. Hang on. Whee! Go faster, go faster. <laughs> oh, no, that's Emma crying. Sorry guys, I'll be right back. Lame. Aw, it's okay, sweetheart. It's okay, come here. Did you have a bad dream? It's alright, don't worry. Hey mom. Is Emma okay? Yeah, she's fine. She was just a little upset when she woke up. Can I hold her? No, I want to hold her. No, no, I asked first. You are such a baby hogger. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You hog them, and by the time they come back to me and I hold them, they're all out of snuggles. Hey, hey, hey. Guys, stop, stop. You both can hold them. Jenny will go first because she asked first, and then it's your turn. Ugh. Story of my life. Okay, Emma, you must be really hungry. It's time for your bottle. Uh, Silly girl. Here you go. Here's her bottle. Thank you, Mom. Uh, 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 uh. Wow, you're such a fast drinker. Good job, Emma. Is she all done? Yep. Good. Don't forget to burp her or she might spit up. Like that. Ew. Ew, she spit up, Mom. Hang on, let me just get a wipe. 
It's okay, Emma. It's okay. Here, all done. Oh, she's all clean now. Yeah, just make sure to hold her upright so she doesn't spit up again, okay? Ew, she might spit up again? Oh. Oh, Derek. Derek. It's your turn. Finally, you get to hang out with me, your big brother. How do you feel about that, Emma? You really shouldn't suck your thumb. That can become a bad habit. Ow. Ow, or just do whatever you want. Oh, you think it's funny when you smack your big brother. Dude. Mom. Mom. Yeah? Please come get the baby. She filled her diapers. Okay, okay. Don't freak out. I'll get her. I'm not freaking out. I almost threw up in my mouth, though. Here you go, sweetheart. Let's change your diaper and let's change your outfit. Let's have a look. I'm pretty sure she made a number two. <coughs> oh, yeah, she did. It's a big number two. Ew. Let's get her a new diaper. So I cleaned her with some wipes, and now we can throw this diaper finally out. And now I'm just going to put a new diaper on her. In case anyone is wondering, this diaper is a size newborn. And the clothes that she fits into are sometimes newborn size, or this one is a 0 to 3 months. I never did an unboxing video with Emma because I don't know, I just don't feel like I'm really good at unboxing videos. I rather introduce my dolls through like role play because that's what I'm most comfortable with. And this doll I actually got through Etsy from an actual reborn artist, so she is hand painted. And that's usually out of the ordinary for me. If you guys watch my videos, you'll see that most of the time I use the Amazon factory made reborn dolls. I still will use them in my videos, that's not going to change at all. Those are the ones that I really like to tell stories with. But I did save up my money to get this one. And I can see a big difference in the quality of this one and the ones of the silicone dolls that I usually get off Amazon. So it's really nice to add this one to the collection. I'm just showing you guys all the parts of her so you can see what she looks like. Um, but I'm going to keep my Amazon dolls because I really love telling stories with them. One thing that I've noticed with this silicone doll compared to like, for instance, baby Noah that I bought on Amazon is that this one here is so much more floppier and the silicone of Noah seems to be more stiff. Like his head doesn't flop around automatically if you don't support it. So that's almost like a real baby. Let me just get the zipper. She looks so cute in this. I'm just quickly going to fix her hair because it's really crazy right now. I haven't brushed her hair since I've gotten her. And let me show you the outfit. So this is a 0 to 3 months and it's a little bit loose so she could probably go with a newborn. Who's a good boy? You want to play with the rattle? Look at it go shake shake shake. <laughs> you like going shake, shake, shake? Are you doing it? How about this one? Okay, let's take this off so we can play your favorite game. Are you ready? Pika, boo! Pika, boo! Is that your favorite game? Oh no, you threw up. You got too excited playing. Here, let me get a wipe to clean that off. Oh my goodness, look at all that oatmeal you threw up. Mama. Noah, I have to clean your face. 
He really doesn't like it when I clean his face with a wipe. There's still some stuff on him, so I think I'm gonna give him a bath. Come on. Okay, Noah, time for your bath. Ah, you splashing. Are you playing with the water? Noah just loves his baths. Look at his little feet, they're so cute. Sometimes when Noah gets really comfortable, he'll make a number one or a number two in the bathtub. I really hope that that's not gonna happen today. Okay, let's get his back. He's being such a good boy. Look, Noah, do you want your rubber ducky? He absolutely loves playing with toys in the tub. Mama. Oh no, Noah is peeing in the tub. <laughs> of course he thinks it's funny. We'll have to redo this whole bath again. Let's drain the tub. Five minutes later. Look, Noah, who is it? Aw, let's hope he won't pee again. I think it's almost time to take him out. All right, so Noah is all dry, and before I dress him, I'm gonna powder him. Ooh, <laughs> that is a lot of powder. But um, yeah, I like to powder him because it's much easier to dress him in clothes if I don't powder him. There's so much resistance because he's a silicone baby, and I can't pull any of the clothes over him. For any of you that have silicone babies out there, what kind of powder do you guys use on your baby? I actually use baby powder and I've heard from a few people now that that's not good for silicone babies. So please let me know down below in the comments what you use. All right, so he is all powdered up and sitting in his bobby pillow and I picked out some clothes for him. I got these blue sweatpants. I hope they fit their newborn. They're not preemie. And then this onesie, which is a preemie size. Are you ready to get dressed, Noah? Here you go. I get the ice. Huh? I think these pants are a little bit big on him. They're newborn size, and he's usually preemie size. Look how small he looks in these pants. That's okay. He's still looking cute. If you guys love seeing more videos of my silicone baby Noah, I have attached some more videos right here. I'll see you guys later. Bye.